Welcome back, welcome back to Maurice's Polo Review Channel. Thank you everybody for tuning in to my channel. I'm sorry for the delay on my vlog, but I'm trying to get back on track. Today we're going to talk about what's on my mannequin and a major cop for myself because I've been looking for a long time. So let's get into it. Today we'll be talking about what's on my mannequin. Up underneath you have the Polo Raffler in New York, um, the Watchtower t-shirt um i copped this about i would say like two years ago at the outlet i think it was going on for like 20 bucks or something like that maybe 25 -ish. so i got that and also i have the plaid red white and blue um long sleeve shirt to go over top on the uh, t-shirt just trying to get my layer game back up it's that it's polo season it's polo season finally. <laughs> so um with that, I also have the the denim and supply vest to go on top of that for the red, white, and blue in the back. And I have the blue Ralph Lauren hat with the red polo man. Angle it up a little bit so y'all can see it. Also, this is just something fresh on a layer, on my layering purposes. Um let's turn it around just so you can see it in the back. The red, white, and blue on this denim and supply piece that also contrasts and goes well with any Ralph Lauren piece you have. Blue, red, whatever the case may be. It's just a dope piece, period. So when you walk by when people look back, they see the flag on your back. <laughs> so um, this is this is a, a unique piece in my eyes only because you can, you can twist it and turn it so many ways. And it's a great piece to have inside of your collection. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You got to have a diverse piece to go with. Mm. 85% of your wardrobe. That's why everything, that's that's the way everything can coincide and go together. Um, But yeah, how would you rock this vest? Would you go with a red? But in hindsight, the red, the, the um flag on the back, it, have, it do have a faded look. So you can, eh, you can, you can rock cream with it. You can rock a blue with it. But it, the, the, um, Vest itself is denim and supply, so you already know what the move is. But this is just a little, a little unique way of me layering um, what I have in my closet. You know, it's not, it's not winter time yet. It's just tipped in the fall. So guess what? When you got that, you can layer everything just right. You know, as far as the color schemes and everything of that nature. Of course, everybody has a ton of polo hats that I know of. Big horses, little horses, flat bib, long bibs, um, leather backs, all that. So, I will rock that out, you know, eh, in the evening, you know, if I'm going somewhere, just to show the diversity throughout the day, you know what I'm saying? That's how we do. LLs. <laughs> so, let's talk about this cop I just recently purchased. Um, also, I would tell everybody, get on Posh. Try to make a deal with people, get on Posh, make a deal with people because Posh is like hot right now. eBay is still hot, but Posh is on fire right now because people going through their closets at this time of year trying to get rid of stuff, you know, looking to get back and losing weight. Whatever the case may be, people are trying to get rid of things in their closet, you know, to minimize what they have. Yeah, not me. But <laughs> a lot of people are just looking to declutter. You know what I'm saying? If they're not going to rock it or they move into a different state and the climate there is not going to permit what they're going to wear, guess what? They're trying to get rid of it. So make deals with people on Posh. Hit them up to see if, you know, if they don't mind making a deal and bundling a package. Also, I have a, I have a package on the way. It should be here today, hopefully. <laughs> I've been waiting for a few days, but it should be here today. So let's talk about this cup. This is a very popular piece in my eyes only because it was, uh, I seen it in... A lot of Ralph Lauren commercials also is a vintage piece. So, let's talk about it. I have the reindeer sweater that is famous to me by Ralph Lauren. This is a great knit. It's a great piece. Um, I watched this particular piece. It was on Posh. I'm not going to lie. Poshmark is not paying me. I'm not sponsored by Poshmark, Ralph Lauren, or anything. So, any of you Ralph Lauren execs and Posh execs, I'm giving you free advertisement right now. <laughs> so let's talk about it. <clears throat> Unfold this guy. This is a beautiful, beautiful sweater. Reindeer sweater for this time of year. It's a it's a piece that'll pop. Matter of fact, I could have just took this 
and put it up on the deck. It rocked out with a um either oxford blue or oxford white, not white, just blue. Um shirt and put it up up underneath this and I could have rocked out with it. But anyway, <clears throat> this particular piece is very um detail oriented. It has the reindeers with the of course with the pine tree. Of course, everybody knows it's almost that time. Christmas is like 90 some days away or something like that. So anyway, <clears throat> but it's a very powerful piece in my eyes. Um matter of fact, you won't believe what I got this thing for. I'm going to show you the price tag, and it still had a price tag on it. This is a vintage piece. Understand that this is a vintage piece, a vintage piece, and it has tags still on it. So that means to me that the person who had it necessarily either lost weight, didn't care for it, or didn't know they had it and wanted to get rid of it. So, with the tag still on it, $185. With tax, you're looking at probably two ten or two fifteen ish. So, the price I paid for this particular sweater was a whopping drum roll, please, forty seven dollars on Poshmark. Me and the person went back and forth, and we agreed on the price. They sent it to me. I sent them forty seven dollars. Hit. Um. Also, um. I have a lot of friends on IG. Me and Eric Hall, we just got through speaking, I think it was last night, night before last, and he hit on Posh 2. When I mean he hit, he hit. And the reason why I say he hit is because it was a particular rugby piece that I had been looking for, I know, for mm, about two years now, and he found it on Posh, and he got it for $100. I'm talking about, and I, I mean, for those who are on my IGI post up, what he got, but man, he hit, and this a hard to get piece, and I think he is the only one I know to have it, so good luck to him, you know, if anybody looking for low deals and stuff like that, I stay on a low hunt, eBay, Posh, you know, any type of outlets I can get my hands on, resellers or whatever case may be. Um, please like, subscribe, let your people know about me. You know, I'm just here for the, doing it for the, for the, for the culture, doing it for my people. You know what I mean? For those who love like, rap around like I do, you know, we all in this together. It's under, I understand to make it a proper, but don't bust nobody head for certain items. But that's all I got to say. I'm trying to get back on track. Like this video, subscribe to your boy and follow me on IG at MO underscore 55. Salute to everybody out there in the world. Have a great, safe, and productive day.